So guys, the news is still fresh. Bungie has been brought out by Sony. Now my Twitter feed is full of questions, full of speculation, full of people assuming that, I mean, the main thing is Destiny 2 pushing forward or are these new IPs from Bungie pushing forward going to be exclusive to PlayStation, PlayStation consoles? Well guys, today direct from Bungie, I have the answers for you, so we're going to cover that right now. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, excuse my voice, still got a cold and it's killing me. But we just gotta get on with this shit, we just gotta get on with this shit. Okay, so Bungie not long dropped an actual a post on their website, which I will just skip now too, you can see. Our shared vision. Bungie's bright future is only possible with you, our amazing community of guardians. If you share our vision for Destiny, a single global community that you can play anywhere on any device, join us. We are just getting started. See you star side. Joe Blackburn and Justin Truman. So we can see all this right here. And we then have a QA, an interesting QA. Okay, so question as a destiny 2 player does bungie becoming part of playstation have any immediate impact on how i play and experience destiny 2 bungie states no our commitment to destiny 2 as a multi-platform game with cross play remains unchanged we want you to play the witch queen on february 22nd 2022 on the platform of your choice cool okay so again question Will the Destiny 2 experience on non-PlayStation platforms be impacted by Bungie becoming part of PlayStation? Bungie reply, no, we want to maintain the same great experience you already have on your platform of choice. Cool, another question. Will any announced seasons, events, packs or expansions be changed or impacted by Bungie becoming a part of PlayStation? Answer. No, Bungie retains full creative independence for our games and our community. Our plans for the light and dark saga are unchanged all the way through the final shape in 2024. Poo. Another question. Will Destiny 2 The Witch Queen include any platform exclusives? Bungie answer with no, the Witch Queen will not contain any platform exclusives. Every player should have an amazing Destiny experience, no matter where you choose to play. Another question. Will cross-platform features like cross-save, cross-play, the Destiny 2 companion app, or third-party apps like Destiny Item Manager be changed or removed? Bungie answer with no. Bungie's commitment to cross-platform play and social features remains unchanged. We believe games are best shared with friends, wherever they choose to play, and will continue to invest in new features and platforms. Another question. Bungie has future games in development. Will they now become PlayStation exclusives? Bungie answer with no. We want the worlds we are creating to extend to anywhere people play games. We will continue to be self-published, creatively independent, and we will continue to drive one unified Bungie community. Cool. So that's what well, the matter IP we know is coming or whatever this is. It seems as though it will not be exclusive to PlayStation, which I guess is good news. Okay, so next question and last question. I play Destiny on Steam, Xbox or Stadia. Will my platform be supported? Yes. Simple as that. Now to me, Bungie being brought out by Sony, Sony are definitely going to reek in some benefits here. There's no two which ways about it. You don't spend $4 billion on a company to not reek any benefits. What those benefits are could be tied to a number of things. Yes, uh, Xbox will still have Destiny 2. Yes, it seems as though there's going to be no exclusive content for the foreseeable future. The matter IP, it seems as though in any future games will be available on Xbox or other platforms, PC, Stadia, whatever. But it's definitely here, definitely here, something for Sony. They, like I said, they don't just spend $4 billion on a company and don't 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 really get anything in return i mean yes they're obviously going to make more money no doubt the game being bought by pc users and xbox users a bit of that profit obviously is going to go straight back to sony's pocket no two which ways about it. that's the way business works but i think there's definitely something else here as well but we will see guys we will see but 
as of right here and right now in the foreseeable future not much is going to change if anything and there we have it guys i hope any questions you have have been answered and on that note i'm going to end the video if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one